tree of knowledge presents the signs of insecurity. Insecurity is a complex emotion that we all experience from time to time. It can manifest in many ways, from self-doubt to anxiety about relationships. While it's a natural human emotion, chronic insecurity can lead to significant distress and hinder personal growth. Recognizing the signs of insecurity can be the first step towards addressing the underlying issues and developing healthier coping mechanisms. Here are seven telltale clues that you might be feeling insecure, along with some strategies for managing this emotion. Constant self-doubt. One of the most common signs of insecurity is a persistent feeling of doubt about your abilities, decisions, or worth. You might second-guess yourself, worry that you're not good enough, or feel like you don't measure up to others. To combat self-doubt, try to challenge your negative thoughts and replace them with more positive, realistic ones. Remind yourself of your strengths and accomplishments, and practice self-compassion. Fear of rejection. Insecurity often stems from a deep-seated fear of being rejected or abandoned. This can lead to hesitation in pursuing opportunities or forming new relationships. You might avoid taking risks or expressing your true self for fear of being rejected. To overcome this fear, try to identify your specific fears and face them head-on in a controlled way. Start with small risks and gradually increase them. Remember that rejection is a part of life and doesn't reflect your worth. Need for constant validation. Feeling insecure often means constantly seeking reassurance and validation from others. You might be overly concerned with what others think of you and feel the need to please everyone to avoid conflict. To reduce your need for validation, work on building self-confidence and self-esteem. Practice assertive communication and learn to say, no, when necessary. Remember, you can't control other people's opinions of you, but you can control your own actions and decisions. Comparing yourself to others. Insecurity can lead to a habit of comparing yourself to others, which rarely leads to feelings of contentment. You might feel envious or inferior when you see others succeeding or appearing happy. To break the cycle of comparison, try to focus on your own journey and progress rather than comparing yourself to others. Celebrate your own accomplishments, no matter how small they may seem. Feeling anxious or overthinking. Insecurity often manifests as chronic anxiety or overthinking. You might worry excessively about the future, ruminate on past mistakes, or have a hard time making decisions. To manage anxiety, practice mindfulness and stay present in the moment. Use relaxation techniques like deep breathing or meditation. Seek support from trusted friends, family, or a professional counselor if your anxiety is overwhelming. Avoiding challenges or taking risks. Feeling insecure can lead to a tendency to avoid challenges or take risks. You might stick to what's familiar and comfortable out of fear of failure or embarrassment. To push beyond your comfort zone, start small and gradually increase the challenges you take on. Celebrate each small victory along the way. Remember, failure is a natural part of growth and learning. Feeling inadequate or unworthy. At its core, insecurity often stems from a deep-rooted feeling of inadequacy or unworthiness. You might have a negative internal voice that tells you you're not good enough, smart enough, are capable enough to challenge this negative self-talk try to catch your self-deprecating thoughts and replace them with more positive affirming ones practice self-care and self-love and remember that everyone has strengths and weaknesses it's what makes us human feeling insecure is a normal human emotion but chronic insecurity can hinder your growth and happiness recognizing the signs and taking steps to address the underlying issues is the first step towards overcoming insecurity if you're struggling with insecurity, consider seeking support from a trusted friend, family member, or a professional counselor. They can provide objective insight and practical strategies to help you build confidence and resilience. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications.